I, I received a uh, report from AIG that they presented to our government during this critical time where they outlined the need for a bailout. Uh, they claimed that they were America's largest insurance company, mm -hmm. and if they failed, the entire economy would fail. Uh, they more or less put a gun to our heads and said, if you don't bail us out, the economy would fail. Mm -hmm. I, I would put it a, another way. If we bail out firms every time someone says it, our economy will collapse. And since I have their detailed explanation, I would like to request from the Federal Reserve, Treasury, and New York Fed the analysis that the government did uh, that AIG needed to be saved. I would like to study that and also request the analysis that was made that uh, Lehman should fail. I think the opportunity we have now is to study what happened so that we can make better decisions going forward. So Mr. Bernanke, does such a document exist and could we get receive copies of both the Lehman analysis and the AIG analysis from the government? Surely we did not just take AIG's analysis at face value. We did not take AIG's analysis. Mm -hmm. We've done our own analysis and had substantial discussions about the systemic risk associated with AIG. We will find what we have and, and, and try to provide it for you. On Lehman, we did not choose to let it fail. It failed because we could find no solution. But our strong preference would have been to avoid failure because we, we have seen the consequences of the failure. And, and likewise, uh, AIG came back several times for more money. And at each point, we could have put restrictions on executive compensation or management or a number of ways. Each time they came back, we could have analyzed the systemic risk more. And I'd like to request the uh, documentation that was done during those three periods that they came back for more money. Uh, I'm we, we did. We did impose considerable restrictions on executive compensation and the process for setting it, as so did the TARP when that became part of it. Um, the problem with the AIGFP bonuses was they were set by a contractual agreement prior to the government taking over the, the firm. Well, contracts can be changed. We've changed contra uh, contracts all the time. Contracts are being renegotiated now with General Motors and uh, with uh, uh, mortgage uh, housing and all kinds of places, so they can be changed. But when we saw the counterparties, uh, it included one firm that has publicly said that they, uh, they could have managed the default of AIG and uh, been whole. So clearly, there was no systemic uh, risk with that company and possibly with others. Um, I'm sure you're aware of those public statements. And also, when you looked at the counterparties, there were um, municipal governments and uh, do you consider municipal municipalities systemic risk? As I, as I discussed in some detail in my testimony, it, the systemic risk goes well beyond specific counterparties. In the case of the, of the company you're referring to, perhaps they were hedged, but then it means that some other party that had hedged them would have lost. But more importantly than the specific losses associated with the counterparties would be the loss of confidence in the system as a whole and the likelihood that we would have seen a run on banks given that markets would not know who was ultimately exposed to AIG. Mm -hmm. And uh, likewise, it had uh, counterparties that were a number of foreign banks. Do you consider bailing out uh, foreign banks uh, systemic risk to the American economy? I think it's essential that the AIG meet its obligations. Otherwise, it would have created substantial problems, yes. Congressman, so, could I add? On yes. This? Uh -huh. uh, we did not act because AIG asked for assistance. Mm -hmm. We did not act to protect the individual counterparties from the consequences of their default. We did not act to help foreign banks. We acted because, in our judgment, the consequences of default for the American people would have been catastrophic in ways that are very go directly to the value of their pension plans, their capacity to borrow. If you, if you, if, if you look at what happened across the source of the fall, you can see concrete evidence of exactly what would have happened in the wake of a, of a failure of AIG. It's very important to understand this. I don't believe there is any plausible argument that AIG was not systemic then or that its failure today would not be systemic. I think all the judgments that went into that very difficult judgment in September still apply today. And our obligation, the three of us here today, is to do what we believe is in the best interest of using the authority you've given us 
to protect the American economy from the kind of catastrophic damage that could come with default by a major institution like this. Reclaiming my time. Basically, could the systemic risk have been contained at a much lower cost? Uh, Mr. Bernanke, 